Hello, I'm Matt Guff from House.com. This is Jason Henderson from Burton Snowboards, and these are crazy bindings, the Genesis X and the X Base. Jason, welcome back to Minnesota. Yeah. How you here. doing, buddy? Spectacular. Yes, uh, we are having a good couple of days. We're rounding out right now with some bindings that get a lot of attention. Uh, they're kind of similar, fall within the same similar categories, and they're for hard charging riders. The Genesis X binding and the X base. Uh, Jason, hopefully by the end of this video, will help us figure out which bindings can be best for you. Yeah, there's definitely uh, this is kind of the premium style, you know, like the premium upper end of our of our line. That's right. Um, you know, people that are looking to you know put the cherry on top of that custom X or you know some of the mystery boards or mm. or whatever, just want that a little extra, just a little you know sprinkle of magic. Right. Uh, maybe looking at uh, you know this level. So we got the the Genesis X, um, real similar base plates between the two. They both have the uh, you know, carbon fiber nylon composite, mm -hmm. so they are really responsive toe and heel. Right. Um, you know, available in both Reflex and EST, mm -hmm. so you do have um, you know that option there. But um, so still lightweight, responsive. Lightweight. Yeah. So I would say you know between the two, uh, this one's going to be a little bit more plush and a little bit more comfortable. Right. Um, so same base plate, but different high back, different straps. You know, this is our uh, larger surface area, is our React strap version of the of the ha uh, hammock strap. Mm -hmm. Covers a larger surface area, evens out that pressure. Right. Uh, the material itself is a little softer. Okay. So it just uh, makes it, um, you know, again, just a little bit more, a um, little bit more movable. Like you know, things just move around in there a little okay. bit more user friendly. Right. Uh, and then also the uh, the hammock or the kickback hammock. So we got the, you know, nice stiff, uh, supportive, uh, you know, external high back, but then the hammock, you know, wraps around the base, you know, wraps around the boot, moves with the boot until you, you know, kind of go and turn. That's where the external high back kicks in. Right. And now, is this a, a carbon or uh, fiberglass? This one is a uh, fiberglass reinforced nylon, kind of like the base plates in like a Mission, you Got know, it. or a Malavita. That's the same material in this external high back. Got it. But this one would be just a, a touch stiffer. So then, yeah. So this is kind of the like, you know, real streamlined. This is, you know, again, carbon base plate, but titanium hardware, right. uh, a carbon high back, you know, just a single component carbon high back, um, just really responsive, stiff, maybe not quite as many adjustments, but, um, you know, like we are kind of talked about in a couple other videos, it's just, you know, once you get it dialed in, it might take a little bit more to dial it in, but once you right. get it set, you know, you're golden. Right. Um, but it does have the asymmetrical high, or uh, uh, the asym uh, ankle strap on there, so mm -hmm. does for allow for a little bit of movement in this way, but you know a little bit more responsive. Than, bit more yeah. yeah, you know, like like Jason was saying, um, there are adjustments to keep uh, the straps centered on your boots. You can adjust uh, the forward lean, but uh, they're not quick adjust. So it does, yeah, like you were saying, it does take a little bit more time to kind of dial those in. But once you have them set, you won't have to make any other adjustments. Uh, but with that, you get the, that titanium hardware that just kind of shaves off a little bit of weight. Yeah, you knock out a few extra grams here and there with no, you know, forward lean adjuster, you know, or the, you know, the extra tabs, you know, going to titanium versus steel, you know, all that stuff, you know, kind of adds up. Right. So, and especially like the EST version of this, you know, it's the single component. Um, but when you go to an EST binding, there's no, you know, there's half the screws, right? Uh, and there's no discs, mm -hmm. so that immediately, and, and also with EST, you're replacing what normally would be a lot of plastic in here with right. uh, EVA, which is lighter than the plastic. So, right. you know, EST bindings are lighter than disc bindings. Right. Now, now is uh, the EST X space the lightest adult binding? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's a lot of fun when you get into the realm of these bindings. It's like going from your average, you know, sedan style car mm -hmm. into like a Audi A8L yeah, or SL 550. Yeah. You know, it's like a little bit more plush. There's mm -hmm. some additives. It's just a different kind of world of, of equipment that you'll find both in the Genesis X mm -hmm. and the X space. Like if you do really want, uh, you know, that lightweight appeal, like, and you know, like when you're riding a lightweight board with lightweight bindings mm -hmm. and you, you sit on that chairlift for the first time and let your board dangle, you know right away that there's something yeah. much different. Yeah. And there's, and, and, you know, to kind of uh, add to that is like, there's lighter, there's light stuff out there, right. but you know, that's less expensive or whatever, but it doesn't have the performance mm -hmm. that that's kind of the, 
you know, that, that's, <laughs> that's really where, you know, the engineering and the materials and the expense and all that, you know, it's like, yes, it's light, but it also performs. You know, you can have these, you know, junk generic bindings that might, that are lightweight, but they're going to fall it's apart. Gonna fall they're gonna, yeah, you're not going to go <laughs> try to turn, that thing's going to flex and you're, you know, it just doesn't right. work. Right. So. Yep. so true. Well, Jason, th thanks so much for uh, walking us through that Gen X and uh, that X space. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of lastly, as we round this one out, what board do you think would match up perfectly with a Gen X and the X space? Um, I mean, obviously, I'd say, you know, custom X could go on both of these, mm -hmm. you know. Um, you can put them on anything, but, uh, you know, maybe some of the more family tree stuff. You know, like Moon Buggy or, right. you know, even uh, like Leaderboard, Hometown Hero. Cool. You know, then, you know, here, you know, a lot of, if you want to really round out the mystery construction, like the, you know, the mystery fish right. and Landlord and all right. that, you know, like, right. you know, that, if you're going to, if you're going to, yeah. Right. It's, it's kind of like, it's like if you're going to buy this, you know, high-end, you know, racing road bike, you know, you might as well put a, put some good put something good on it. You know, yeah, just yeah. round it out nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's funny. Every once in a while, you'll see that on the hill. You know, you see someone with like a a really crazy wild board, and then their their bindings and their boots, you know, like just don't match up to the personality mm -hmm. of of the equipment. So make sure all the stuff matches up yep. good. Cool, Jason. Thanks again, man. Thanks for having me. Yep. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave a comment or question. Let us know what you think of the Genesis X and the x base snowboard bindings by leaving a comment or question below in the description area. Otherwise, just get linked out and select these bindings uh, by the links below. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel there. Check out more videos in there, there, and hopefully we'll see you guys on snow. Bye.